What's going on, folks? It's Noble Nines coming at you. I'm your man, DMAC. Going to show you a few of our attacks from our most recent wars. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get this channel going. Keep it up every single war. I can bring to you awesome attacks, really great content to help you in your attacks, and even to show you what we've got going on over here at Noble Nines. Uh, this war was not bad, you know, not not super great. Uh, we only were running 20 people because it was the weekend. We had a lot of people doing stuff, and we had just come off, actually, of a few really tough wars. Not really tough in terms of this uh, one right here with the 7371 us. That was a tough war. Those bases were incredible. Uh, yeah, that was a really great war. Sorry I couldn't bring that one to y'all. That would have been definitely the best video I could have made. Uh, but we had had a few really tough wars in terms of enemy bases, you know, and a lot of planning, and they, you know, were able to get some of our bases. But So this war, we had a lot of people opt out. Uh, able to clean all the Town Hall 9s, and we got one Town Hall 10 triple by Aska, and then LMF got a 98% on their number one, which that was so unfortunate. Uh, I actually got to watch that one live, but I'll show you a few attacks. I'll show that one that Aska had on their number two guy, and then I'll show a few Town Hall 9s. So Aska's going to run with the new famous thing. Now, a lot of people have been showing the, they'll use like five lightning spells, level seven, and it can get, you know, the clan castle and Inferno and the queen if they're all bunched up together. That's That's crazy. To build your base that way first off but to be able to use it that's just incredible that's awesome uh what he's gonna do to get this little cluster right here he's got inferno sweeper air defense and he's even gonna get a little bit of that expo but that's not really his target he's trying he's using an air air raid so expos are not i mean yeah they're damaged but they're not gonna end your raid if you don't get a hold of one uh before it starts so he's gonna drop the Earthquake down, and he's really aiming for the Inferno Tower, and with three level 7 lightning spells, that's definitely enough uh, after an Earthquake set him to take care of the Air Defense and the Sweeper. So he's really aiming to get the Inferno Tower, because that, I mean, Inferno Towers are a big deal. That's five balloons, you know, at one time that can be going down. So he starts his Queen, uh, his Kill Squad, excuse me, and sadly the King goes for a walk here, but that's not going to really destroy his raid, because he doesn't have to push very deep, you know, you have to tailor your attack to the base. Uh, every base is going to be different, uh, even if it's a little bit different, but is able to use the single goal that he brought, and he goes ahead and starts his La Lune part of this raid. Uh, Queen took down the air defense. Lava Hound's going to lock on to her, but it really doesn't matter that much because she's done her job. You know, the king's about to go down here in a second, but nothing else to attack the balloons except for the defenses you know there wasn't a wizard in the clan castle or anything like that some people use archers that's fine uh... we've done that from time to time you just really have to think about how your base is set up and how you need to tailor a defense with your clan castle that is to the base uh, balloons are working around lava hounds are doing their thing he's still got two lava hounds left no air defenses and just a few more point defense and had a few back end balloons to drop in there kinda ambush these last few defenses and pretty much gonna be it for this base 95 war weight out of 100 I believe is the scale it's a pretty good attack solid 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 stuff as always from Aska LMF you know uh, all those guys are great. Uh, we've got we've got some really Marshall. He's one of the other guys. You'll see him in a few more videos. I'm sure I'll show an, a lot of his attacks because all those our top few Town Hall tens. They you know they they're solid. I'd put them against any Town Hall tens from any other Fair Play clan. Uh, so he even had a balloon in the back to help clean up, and he even he held on to that hay spill. You know you don't always have to use everything you need. I mean. You know, I've, I've, I'm guilty of dropping a poison right at the end of the raid off in the corner, but also a great thing to show some courtesy and not humiliate them whenever you beat their base. But, so good job from Aska taking down their number two, Town Hall 10. Next attack I'm going to show is Dr. Rod. And Dr. Rod attack this base. Now, once again, these are not, you know, everyday special bases. They're not any three. This was not a super difficult war as the uh, 
score showed, but still, good attacks are good attacks. Now, what I want to say about Dr. Rod is his attacks are so... I hate to say old school, but they are. But they still work today because he he's just he understands the bases, he understands the layouts. Now I know this is not you know any three base, but he does this to anti three bases easily. You know, Doctor Rod is one of our best attackers, and he sits really low on the war weight scale. I mean, he's like I think next to last in pretty much all of our wars in terms of where he sits out on the map. But I've seen him take out you know the top two town hall nines easily. You know, and had half of his hogs left over and his queen standing. Uh, so, another thing about him is he always has tons of time. I've never seen him run out of time. Uh, he just brings that single golem, two witches. It's his generic build. I, I believe he doesn't even look at the base. He just kind of YOLOs these attacks <laughs> whenever he builds his, uh, army. So he starts his kill squad and drops a few hogs to help kind of create the funneling for where he wants his golem and his kill squad to move in. He wants them to move towards the center of the base, towards those expos. Clan castle comes out. Drops the poison. Queen is going to engage them in a second after they take down the defending queen. And, you know, he can use the heal spells early if he needs to. Uh, he brings four of them. Four, I mean, most bases, unless they're spread out over the entire map, you know, you can really uh, almost blanket the entire base. If you can keep your hogs together, then it's pretty much a wrap on most bases. Uh, still working his way around. And he had a few hogs he dropped in on the east over here. Uh, to kind of work up that way because these hogs are kind of running out of steam But he's still got two heal spells and not a whole lot left I mean most of this attack. I mean this is this is pretty much a wrap most of this attack left is just gonna be clean up uh, Really no way for this to go south on him um, So solid attack we're gonna go ahead and speed it up for clean up sake Solid attack here by dr. Rod once again. I mean he, he's a six-star war guy every time and the last attack we're going to show is by STTDB. He's been with us for a little while, one of our co-leaders. Super, super great attacker. Always does really well in all wars. Uh, I believe for this base, he was going to bring... Yeah, he's a really big fan of the queen walks. He loves to do queen walks. Uh, I think he starts it at about 3 o'clock after he does the lightning-earthquake combo here. But see that queen? He's waiting for that queen to get close to them. Maybe he can get a lot of... Uh, damage on her just in case he can't get to her with his defending queen uh, so he goes ahead and he waits and he drops that on there almost takes her out I think he gets about three-fourths of her health to go down and then he goes ahead and starts his queen walk uh, so really good really great plan in there because I mean you never know with go Laloon, I mean he's not bringing the jump so it looks like he's gonna have to shoot the queen with his queen which you never know how that's gonna go uh, he makes a nice little funnel down here and his queen's definitely gonna go to 12 o'clock area from here but a lot of times you know a few pups can take down the queen but if she's at full health then that, that's a lot tougher so really great really great thinking there to try to get that queen uh, or at least a lot of her damage or health he goes ahead and tries to do a wall break here he gets really close but i think he dropped the last one a little bit too late and he couldn't get the third one to break uh that wall there but not a huge deal he's still got two more so i think he's going to try it again uh, behind his king this time taken for him and he gets really lucky right there He gets the break, but I don't think his king's gonna take the break uh, Defending queen comes out easily takes her down with his 26 queen um, He's been working a lot on his heroes lately. I think about a month ago. He had 2020 so he's been really doing a lot of farming trying to get them up I would definitely recommend not dragging it out. You need to Do your best to uh, just boost a few times uh, and just rush it and get them to 30-30 and be done with it. That's what I did, and I'm happy I did. Uh, goes ahead. Qu King goes down after he went for a stroll. Not really a big factor with an air uh, attack, you know, as we saw with Asuka. He didn't really have much use for his king other than making sure the queen went down. But the queen was already down, so it's not really a big deal that she went down. Either way, queen's going to work her way in there to that compartment with the wall break. At 12, it's going to take down that air defense. He goes ahead and starts his Laloon portion of this. Uh, brought that haste, still uh, still had that haste spell. And so the loons are going to make it into the bag. Now this guy is really great that he did an air attack. This guy had expos both to ground. Now, I know, you know, if the base is not set up properly, you probably should not do that. But, I mean, every little bit helps, especially in an air raid. You just never know exactly which direction your balloons are going to go 
uh, they could be pushed by the sweeper, and the sweeper could end up repositioning them to lock onto another defense, and then they end up messing your whole plan up. But they did a really great job here, bringing that back in loon for the sweeper, so that just in case the sweeper took him down, that he would still be able to take it out. Either way, so solid attack here, just some cleanup. Balloons are going to bunch up and just absolutely wreck the Town Hall, Clan Castle area. So, solid work as always from STTDB. And that's going to be a wrap for this video, folks. Thank you very much for watching. We've got plenty of good stuff going on. Uh, our current war we're in, pretty decent bases. So it looks like that'll be some good content to bring to y'all. But besides that, uh, we're going to log out for this one. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, drop a comment or a like. Maybe a subscription if you want to. And we'll see y'all in a little bit. Thanks again.